suddenly you run into the park. Mm -hmm. And if you're on a bike, you just keep going and you cross through. If you're on a car, then you stop. That there's no way out except the way you came in. I use my horn now, which I never used before in my life. Well, pile of dead bodies. I think of a picture at Dead End Street that was in my parents' neighborhood, uh, where I grew up. I just go wherever I have to go. I completely mm -hmm. disregard the street signs or street lights. Near-death experiences from you following the law and other people not. But if everyone followed the law, you know, maybe we would have uh, fewer traffic accidents, or maybe we would just be, you know, a highly strided society. It's funny, when I was uh, again living over there, I see the people doing it because safe, and, uh, you know, other places like New York, I feel like I have to do that there. It's, it's like people screaming, walking, it's not like, uh, I don't feel like, like the same uh, response for the people in, in different sectors. And also maybe react a little harder when the, the, the regulations come. This is my set. I think of like actually a little cottage, like a little neat little cottage that like dead ends at a, like a, a body of water. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I think it's because they're trying to be too polite. So I decided, well, I'm just going to start using mine. So now when I'm in the left lane and somebody's going like 60 miles per hour and they're boxing me in and they can just go 65 and get over so I can you know, continue going 80 or whatever I want to do, and they don't, I honk at them. It's the only time ever I've nearly been arrested. You get whistled at by traffic police. It's really kind of, oh, what did I do? I try to like, stay in the white lines, like, because I, you know, I, I did the show in New York, and I got one coming up, and I don't want to go to like another state and just be like, I don't know what I'm doing, and get a ticket, and be like, why? Certainly, there is, there is, and I think that at this, the way that it is here, like people always trying to push those limits and push those boundaries, it's um, it can be self-destructive. If, like, just playing a board game with your friends or something or anything, like if people are cheating or something and they're like, oh, it's just a game, it's still fucking annoying. Like we have to abide by the rules, otherwise we're not really. I don't know, playing a game. Because if you don't follow those lines, sometimes could be dangerous. Mm -hmm. Sometimes could be fun. Just going down a path that you end up not being able to go further and you sort of went down the wrong path, I guess, if that's what happens, I think. Yeah, like a street that suddenly runs into some park or... Um, other impediment. When someone stops for a left-hand turn and it's a, you know, two-lane road and they don't pull into the intersection so that people behind them can pass around them, they stop at the actual stop line and then make everyone else wait for them and then they go on yellow. It's like, those people, whatever. All right, now we're getting into different, sorry. Yeah, it's, 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 it's um, maybe not that familiar than I choose, but this is uh, just something mental than it's like stopping. Nothing has stopped me, so it's like hard for me. I'm trying to figure out way, you know? It's not this way, I need to find another one. This pathway of gates just didn't come to an end. <laughs> and it was beautiful, but at some point, you just have to decide to turn around and come back using the system that is there to protect your safety and the safeties of others, especially at busy intersections. Mm -hmm. Now the risk is way higher, but I get everywhere I want to go uh, almost twice as fast. I think it's every responsible person's duty to stay over the lines as often as possible every day. I definitely learned that from growing up in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. I see people like, the way people cross the street here, they're like, what? Like, come on, bring it on. Definitely, there is value with following um, the, you know, sort of social order that is laid out because it prevents you from dying. 
to, to a certain extent. I think that, um, yeah, I think it's pretty much up to me. That means that person may be arrested, you won't. But then I think, hey, I'm white, so no problem. You look there and you live over there, you can see how people is like, rush, working, living in a big city, a lot of people is walking, so you, very, very bad, but we pass streets everywhere we can. I always, whenever I'm going down a dead end street and I can see the end in front of me, I always get into this thing of like, what is keeping me from just keeping going? Like, why am I not just running into this building right now? Even like down to the last seconds, like, oh, and there you go, turning. Um, Legend of Zelda are like one of those games that have like those little blocks, like, I hate those. Those kind of like made me a better reader when I had to take my DMV test. I usually, I usually pause. I like soft stop at the least. You know, I, I often stop, depends on my mood. You know, you don't see a line across uh, railroad tracks if it's just full of railroads. It's usually just a railroad in front of you. What? You're busy? You can't wait for me? They're like looking for you. And then I have that attitude when I'm walking around. I feel that, you know, like, what? What are you so busy for? I'm going walking, you got a car. It's not the dead end, per se. It's so-called blind street where you can't go anywhere else. You have to go back. I try to pay attention to my surroundings, but are breaking the rules necessary to do what I need to. Hmm. Huh. Someone stayed up really late at night for a long time in their life to like make that a reality, and then someone else fought really hard to make it a, what's the word, permanent and imposed fixture on vehicles, and it's like, if you don't do that, you're just not being courteous to yourself. With just bricks, 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 and bricks coming towards you. Because I need to get across the street. And if the other opposite way that you're heading towards to is another dead end, then you're ultimately stuck. So like you'll be going down a street and then suddenly it'll just become a roundabout and you'll, yeah, veer off, veer off your path. I think there's a time and a place to walk in and out of all lines. So, yeah, it's like, you know, just getting used to it, because I hear it's like no man's land when it comes to, like, walking. I think that you are rewarded for doing the right thing, whatever that, whatever that is to you, and, and following the rules. I feel like we should be allowed to cross streets as adults. Um, I don't think if you're under the age of 18, you should be allowed to jaywalk. But I will say, if you if you do choose to jaywalk, do it quick. Get out there, be like me, get to the other side.